and they have not shot the three very well, only 28% on the season. And caught in midair, not quite sure what he wanted to do with it was Jordan Smith, and now here is P.J. Henry. He's wide open, and he drains a three ball for Texas Southern. Who's in because of Jonathan Aku has picked up two early fouls, the starting forward for Grambling State. Now they work it inside for Christian. That's a tough fadeaway. He got it, and he was fouled. First field goal, finally, for Grambling State. Thomas Cotton can get it. He's down. It's a five on four. Here comes Jordan Gilliam. Feeds it underneath, and the extra pass, Walker. The hook is good. Then 74 to 61 over number five seed, Alabama A&M, to get here to the title game, and now it's Steele. Montford, yes. But that's it. You score, you can pressure. Rebounding advantage, 26 to 11 so far here in this game. Count the basket and a foul. That's Zahad Montford. And for Grambling State, they've got to find a way to turn stops into scores. And possibly hit some more shots in the outside. Here they go. They try it. They hit it. That's Tremichael Moten. Henry. Spins. Floats it up. It's rejected. Shot clock. Henry from NBA range. Oh, no way. And now he does it once again. Only four threes made. Oh, and he does it again. One minute, 40 seconds to go in the championship. 53 to 49. Texas Southern with the lead. A step back three, and it's Henry. He does it again. Monster three ball by the senior from Houston, P.J. Henry. 60 to 54. Moten to the hole. No good. Tipped up and in, though, by Aku. But with just 3.6 seconds to go, they inbound. Gilliam hoists it in the air, and that's it. It's a three-peat for Texas Southern, the first number eight seed to win the SWAT championship, earning their third consecutive NCAA tournament appearance.